Hey, what's going on, Tariq? It's, it's uh, Reggie from Wilmington, man. How you doing? Hey, Reg, how you doing, family? What's on your mind? Um, I'm in Canaan, man. I just wanted to, um, you know, chop up a little bit of game with you here. Um, I right, check this out, man. I am... I want to be getting some advice from you. Okay, um, I'm, I'm an accounting major. Okay. Um, you know, that, that's what I'm working towards right now, you know, for my bachelor's. And, um, you know, I'll, I graduate in about a year or so. And, um, you know, what, what I would really like to do with the degree is, you know, I would, I would like to take the accounting um, training, you know, in education, and uh, find a way to make it work for me, you know, on a, on a self-employment type level. Um, now, I understand that before I do that, you know, it would it would be a good idea for me to go, you know, on, onto a job and get some practical hands-on training first. I get that. Um, and I just wanted to ask you, man, um, you know, since my next step after college is, is you know, is, is to go into corporate America for a short while. Um, you know, do you have any tips on how to navigate, you know, through that environment and still maintain my identity and, and most of all, my manhood? Right. And the reason why I'm asking that is, is because most of the brothers that I do know um, in corporate America, you know, you know what, whether it be on a personal level, um, or, or just by way of acquaintance, they're either homosexual right. or they're just real feminine acting dudes. Right, and it's right. just like, you know, how, how do I navigate through that atmosphere without coming across as being too threatening mm-hmm. because I'm just a regular black man? All right, I'm going to answer that right now, brother. So I'm going to hang Thanks for the call, brother. All right, I'm going to answer that right now. This brother, he's kind of long-winded. That's why I wanted to answer it with him off the phone because he sounded like he'll throw some more parts of the question in and just keep going on and on. And folks, when you call up, let's get to the point so we can just get the shit rolling because when cats want to call up and just give their whole work history, you know, that that's bringing the show, it brings the show to a screeching halt. So you got to um, really get to your point. So basically all this brother had to do was say, hey, man, how can I maintain at my job without falling in with the bullshit, without, you know, being feminized? That's all you got to say. This brother gave his whole work history. Hey, well, look, I got me a degree from DeVry, right? And um, I got my master's, I got my doctorate, right? And I joined the Q-Dogs while I was in college, right? And then when I graduated, I did an internship at uh, uh, Motown. And then, I mean, the brother just gave me his own his whole work history, which you didn't have to do. But again, a lot of cats get nervous and I get it. But basically what he, what he wants to know is how do you navigate around the work environment as a black male, which is a very good, a good question because a lot of brothers don't know how to do that. And again, when you look in corporate America, the lot of, a lot of the black males you see who are maintaining in corporate America, a lot of them are very feminized. You see a lot of feminized black men sashaying around places in corporate America. Now, if you want to maneuver in the corporate world, first understand that bullshit is all around. So if you're getting bullshit from one job, don't think that you're not going to get it from another job. If you're a black dude working in the corporate environment, the bullshit is in every location you go to. Understand that first of all. Please understand that there's always going to be some bullshit. And you got to, if, you, if you're not maintaining and, and overcoming it from one place, you're going to have to overcome it from another place. So you might as well overcome it where you are right there. Even if you got some people trying to, to push your buttons, you just stay about that work. You just stay about what you need to do. Your ultimate goal is to learn enough to start the business for yourself. That's what you should always think in terms of starting a business for yourself and getting enough game at the job, enough contacts to start doing the shit on your own. That's what the white boys do. You don't see white boys working at these jobs for a long ass time. You see white boys working at a job for a year or two, especially in the corporate world. Then they go start their own business. I see it all the time out here in Hollywood. I see a cat working at a production company for a few months. The next thing you know, he got his own production deal somewhere. 
They go in there, they learn the game, and they branch off. And brothers got to start thinking like that. Soak that game up so you can get it popping for yourself. Now, if you want to be a black folks got this thing with, of job security, because that's that plantation mentality. The plantation, you knew you were going to be on the plantation for life. You, you knew you weren't getting off. So on a plantation, you're like, well, shit, I just might as well get the best position possible. And that became a badge of honor on a plantation, getting a certain position. Um, I'm, I was a house nigga. I was the fiddler. <laughs> I was a water boy. I was master chauffeur. You know, you got little bullshit positions that you were proud of because that's your lot in life. Well, you got to stop thinking like that. You know, forget about job security. Get job game. Get that game and then start some shit for yourself. Oh, black folks to stay on a job. Shit. Till they 80 fucking years old. Yeah, blacks are still on a job forever. Mm -hmm.